Hello everyone, welcome to this Accordion Pro plugin video tutorial series. Today I am going to show you how to configure the Accordion item title and description related properties. Make sure that Accordion Pro plugin is installed and activated into your site. You can directly click on add new or you can click Accordion groups and then click add new to create a new group and give it a title. I have already created a few Accordion groups for you. I will explain the rest of the video from the Accordion groups I have already created. Go to the Accordion groups and select it. You can see I have already given it a title and added a few content. Below that you can see there are three configuration tabs. So go to the display settings configuration tab and scroll down a bit to find the accordion item title and description field related properties. First you can set an accordion border and border radius from here. By default border is set to 1 pixel and border radius is set to 3 pixel. If I click on show preview you can see 1 pixel border is showing right here and this is the border radius. If I change the border to 2 pixel. And also you can set a border style from several options and change the border color as you like. Now if I update the preview, you can see the border is visible now. Show sure, hide the title icon from here. In the light preview, you can see there is no icon is showing in between the expand and collapse icon and the title. Let's select an icon first. Click on any accordion item. And beside the title field, you can see the option to set a font icon or custom icon. Font icon means you can select a font or some icon from the list. And custom icons means you can select a custom icon or upload a custom icon from your media. So I am selecting a custom icon like this one. And now update the preview and you can see the icon is showing before the title. You can also change the title icon size, title icon color from here. Next, select a title background color type from solid or gradient. This is the solid title background color. If I change it to gradient and update the preview, then you can see this is the gradient title background color. Let's keep it solid and change the title background color to this one, active color to this one as well and hover color to this one as well. Now if I update the preview, then you can see the title background color has been changed. When you select gradient, you will have the option to change the gradient color as well and also gradient direction from several options. Next one is HTML title tag. A user can define a heading tag for the title tags from h1, h2, h3, h4, h5 and h6 tag with this feature. This title tag plays an important role in the term of SEO. Set a padding around the title. By default 15 pixel padding is set around the title. If I update the preview and inspect the title with the Google developer tools, you can see the title is wrapped into h3 tag. Now if I change it to h4 or h2 and update the preview and inspect it then you will see the title tag is wrapped into h2 tag. So this is how it works. Next feature is strip all html tags from description content. Strip html changes the provided html strings into a plain text. Let me show it with an example. On the live preview you can see on the first accordion there are a few tags I have added like bold tag, linking tag and color. Now if I check the box and update the preview then you can see the HTML text has been removed from the section. So this is how the strip all HTML text from the description content feature works. Next feature is line break. It indicates a point at which text is split into two lines. First look at the description in the live preview and you can see there are three paragraphs. Now if I turn off the line break and update the preview, you can see all the paragraphs wrapped into a single line. So this is how the line break feature works. And finally you can change the description background color and description padding as you like. If I change the description background color to this one. And update the preview then you can see the description background color has been changed that's all about the accordion title and description field related properties i hope you have got a clear idea about those now publish the shortcut in my case it is showing update because i have already published it 
To keep the changes, you need to update the shortcut. Now go to a page where you want to display it. Insert the shortcut using the Easy Accordion Pro button bar block. Publish the page and view it. So this is how you can display the accordion groups into your pages and the configurations you have made will be displayed in the accordion as well. So that's all for today. In the next video, I'll come up with another attractive feature of the plugin. Until then, take care.